What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you something trolly, trolly, trolly useful, which are sockets in MQL5. Why is this so useful? Because this allows you to uh, create bots in any language that contains sockets. You can use the MT5, the MetaTrader 5 uh, program like your bot to just send the data to the programming language that you are using. So for example, if you want to create a bot in Java, you can create your own server in Java and the MetaTrader 5 bot that you created will be sending all the information that that other bot needed. This can be with C++, C, whatever. So let's start with this. And in this example, the language that we are going to use is Python. So for example, instead of using that MT5 library, we are going to do it by our own. So what we are going to do now is we are going to create a file called server.py and here we are just going to create a server. So how do we create a server? It is as simple as first importing the, the socket library, then we are going to create a socket by calling socket socket. And now since this is going to be a TCP socket, we are going to put this af init and finally socket dot socket uh, soc stream yeah so now that we have that we need to bind the socket so for that we are going to do server socket bind and we just need to send one argument which is a tuple that contains the address which is local host and then the port and we are going to put 8888 just just to put one simple now we are going to put here server socket equal listen 10 and what this means is that the queue that the socket is going to have uh, is going to allow to have 10 messages so now that we have this we are going to create the variable connection and the variable address and these are going to be created when we call the function accept so if we put here accept we are going to have this but now what we want is to say hey someone connected here so this is useful so now we are going to print that message and we are going to say connection established with on the address and by the way you have this in github <laughs> you can come here to my github I forgot to tell you at the beginning, you come to trading bot and here in just this folder, MQL5 Python, and you will have the client in MQL5, another special client that I will show you, and the server in, in Python. The server is the same that I'm doing here, but yeah. So knowing that we can continue. And now what we are going to do is to receive messages. And how do we receive messages? We can create a loop and say, if the message that I receive doesn't contain end connection and at the end this if this is not in msg then we are going to continue and what are we going to do inside this loop we are going to use the connection variable created before and we are going to receive but here we need to put a buffer put a big number <laughs> if you put a big number you are going to be sure that you can receive a lot of things but since these are strings you just have to try that whatever you send is smaller than this that doesn't contain a 1024 characters but you can make this number even bigger so then what we are going to do is that we are going to decode this and finally we are going to print the message we put here this and we are going to say message is and it's going to be the message that we received. So now the server is done. Finally, we have to close the connection. And also we have to close the socket. So we are going to close the socket. And that's it. This is how the server is going to be. So here you can make this more complex and do a lot of things but for now we are just going to do this now in mql5 this is the important part in the mql5 we have to create a bot to uh, send information 
So how do we do this? We are going to create an expert advisor by, first of all, let me tell you, you click the ID, then you come here on new, then a uh, expert advisor, and here what you are going to put is, for example, a client test. Give it any name that you want, but yeah. So now that we have this file, as always, we don't need anything of this. And what we need is just basically, first of all, establishing the address in which we are going to connect. And the address was just simply localhost. So here you have to put localhost. But one thing that I have to tell you, which is very, 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 very important in, MT, in MQL5, is that in order to make this work, you have to enable an option. And which option is that? You have to come here to Tools, Options, and here on Expert Advisors, you have to add a new, a new URL. How? You have to put here, Allow Web Request for the, uh, for the following URLs. So you click here and then you click, double click here and you put the URL. As you can see here, I have put localhost and that's why this is going to work. If you don't put it, you are going to have problems and it won't work whenever you try to connect. So that's very important, you have to do it. So once we have done that, we have to also establish the port. And the port, as we said before, is going to be 8888. So now, in the on init function that if you remember this function is only going to be executed once when we open the bot we are going to create the socket and how do we create a socket in mql5 it's truly very simple there's a function called socket close well not socket close <laughs> socket open socket create sorry socket create and as you can see it doesn't receive anything the next thing that we have to do is to check if everything was okay, like if <laughs> the socket was open or not. For that, what we are going to do is to say, okay, if the handler that this give us, this function give us, is invalid, is, is an invalid handle, then we are going to print error in socket create. And that's it, we don't need anything else. But if things go okay, we can continue and we can do more things. So for example, we can connect. So we can do if socket connect, and we have to use the handler, and then uh, the address to which we are going to connect, we watch, which was localhost, which is there, the port, which is the 888, and the timeout. So for example, if you, if, if uh, some time passes, the socket is going to close. How much time? Let's put, for example, 10 seconds. Since these are milliseconds, you have to put 10,000, 10, uh, yeah, 10,000. So if this connects, what we are going to do now is that we are going to say, hey, the connection is established. So here we are going to put this in a cool informatic way in computer way so we are going to put here connection established and now what we are going to do is that we need to create the message the message to send in sockets in mql5 need to be an array of charts it is not the same as a string i mean Usually in computer science, it is the same. But in this case, no, it's not the same. So you have to send an array of chars. So how do we create an array of chars? So for example, we can put here char rec. And then we can put here this. We need also the length of the message that we are going to send. Since this is going to be simple, we are just going to send this end connection uh, message. So let me copy, well, let me copy also the quotes. Let me copy this. And now let's continue. So in order to get the length of an array of a string, so the first thing that we need to do now is to uh, transform the string into an array of chars. How do we do this? We can use the function the string to char array. So now we have to send the string and the string is going to be what we copied. 
And now here we have to send the, the array. And now this function is going to copy all that here, but what it's going to return is the length of the string that it copied plus one, uh, one character, which is the end character. So there will be two end characters. But here, what we are going to put is this, minus one. So now that we have that, we can send a message to the to the server how using socket send and here we need to use the socket handler then the the message and then the length and it is as simple as that now we are going to be able to send a message but we need to also check some things so for example what if in this call the socket didn't open let me put here another zero i forgot if the socket didn't open in this call what we need to do is to show it and say that. So for example, we are going to say print error in socket connect. So whenever there's an error, we know it and we know where is it. The next thing is finally closing the socket. So here we are going to close the socket and that's it. We have this. So how do we test this? How can we test this? First of all, compile. So now if you come down here, you will have the, how was it called? Client test. So if, for example, if we copy this here, it will try to open. And you can see here this uh, window, which is experts. So check now that the time is uh, half past 11. And what we are going to do is to first open the server because the server is going to be the one who receives things. Now the server is waiting here in the accept. And the next thing that we have to do is to take the the bot and drag it here. So we say that, yeah, we want to allow that. And we press accept. And as you can see, this new message was shown. And we can come here and check if everything was okay. So as you can see, the connection was established. And also, it was shown the message that we received. But this was a very, very, very simple example. So let me show you another cool example and you're going to see this, the full potential of this. So that example, I have it here in, in my GitHub. So let me copy that, come here. Let me create another expert advisor. And this one is going to be client test two. We open all this. We press here, we compile, okay, everything is okay. And in this example, let me explain you what I'm doing. First of all, I'm creating an array of candles. So here I'm initializing that array of candles. And here I'm doing the same thing as I did before. I created a socket. If the socket is not okay, we close it and I'm connecting. So why am I connecting here in this on init function? Because this on init function does only executes one time. So we connect to the server and on every tick, I'm going to send the close that, yeah, the, the close of the market. So what I do is that I update the candles, the candles array. And now what I'm doing here is that I'm just counting the amount of, like I can remove this, but I'm just counting the amount of messages that I sent. So for example, what I do is that, okay, if I didn't send too many message, I'm saying, okay, I'm going to send a close. I create the string. So for example, the string is going to contain the name of the symbol that I'm sending a close and the close of the of the symbol. So then again, I create the array of chars and yeah, I use the socket send function and that's it. Here I'm just, yeah, whenever I send 10 messages, what I do is that I send the end connection so the server shuts down and here I'm just closing the, the socket. So let's test this and you're going to see that this one is truly, truly cool because you have this information. And if you have this information, you also have the information about uh, uh, indicators or whatever you have here. So you can send all the information you want here. That's I think that that's truly, truly useful. So I forgot to tell you that here you have to change the port because I used it for another port. We put here the new port, we compile, and now you have to open again the server. And here in the MetaTrader, let me show you this. You take the bot, you have to see that there's no bot here. You take the bot here, you put it here, 
you press accept and you can see that one clause was sent, another was sent, another one. And yeah, if this moves more, it will show more. So as you can see, this is truly useful because you have on real time the information that you want in the language that you are comfortable with. So for example, if you are comfortable in C, you can do this on C. If you are comfortable on, on Java, you can do this on Java. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you understand the potential that this has because you can send all the information you want. And if so, give it a like, share, subscribe and see you in the next one.